Hello and welcome to a game between Sock and Nurchio. Sock will be playing as the light blue Protoss player at the 9 o'clock position, and Nurchio will be playing as the green Zerg player at the 6 o'clock position. And at the very beginning of the map, this is a little bit unusual for Sock. He did put a pylon at the bottom of the ramp. It looks like he might be early expanding and doing something funky. Usually you want to do that to the Zerg and you sort of block off their ramp at the bottom of their ramp, of course, and it looks like he will be scouting at the 12 o'clock position, but he will not find his opponent there, but he is going to double check just in case to see if there's any creep and he will not find any creep there and he does poke out a probe to the lower right hand side of his base and he will find that Nergio his opponent is going to be at the 6 o'clock position and probes are being chronoboos at over and over again there's still only one pylon this is slightly puzzling as many protoss players do not open this way and there is going to be probably a forge I assume and there's also going to be a probe coming into the base of Nurchio. Nurchio has just placed down his spawning pool at around 15 or so population. And there's going to be one drone chasing around this one probe. And ooh, multiple drones coming off the line there for a split second. And the extractor is getting put down as well and the probe I think seeing that he had some success pulling off some of the drones off the line is going to try again and we can see that Nurchio is very active selecting his drones getting ready to get them together once again and ooh we see for the very first time there is going to be a nexus a pylon into a nexus expand so both these players have nothing but workers at the moment harvesters I mean and there's going to be I think one, two, no, no Zerglings out on the field just yet as the spawning pool has not yet finished. The forge is coming up at the very bottom of the ramp. This is a really strange build. I suppose he wants to try to maybe cover this section here and try to wall himself in. But the roaches are going to be a great way to get rid of those cannons if he decides to put cannons up because that the roaches have the little range and the, by the little range I mean lots of range and their plus one range is really nice and two zerglings are coming out for the first time to try to get rid of this probe and the probe is going to fall back and I think he wants to prevent his opponent from expanding but his opponent does not have sufficient minerals to expand and he will put down one pylon and that one pylon will not be able to buy that probe time as the two zerglings take down the probe. Meanwhile, inside the base of Sock, there's going to be a lot of pro production, and we do see the Roach Warren going up inside the base of Nurchio. And my mom sent me a birthday call yesterday. Normally, this would be cause for celebration, but it wasn't my birthday. So she's about a month or so off, and I guess there was some sort of sale at Hallmark or some other sort of car store. I mean, how can she forget of all people? She was the one who had me in her stomach for, like, what, nine months? Unless I was adopted. Oh, shit. In any event, there's going to be a gateway going up for Sokka, and he does shoot the Zerglings once, but the Zerglings are inside the back of the base, and they're picking away at probes. The probes are trying to fight it off. He did manage to pick off one, and a set of seven probes were going to come and try to pick off these Zerglings, but the Zerglings are very much alive, and they pick off a second probe, and these probes are dancing with these Zerglings. Ooh, does manage to kill one of them. The probes do have a slight advantage over other Harvesters, and that they're slightly ranged, and these probes are doing nothing here. I think he managed to misclick that mineral patch. That was a good play there by Nurchio. He does have two of those can is now and we see a pack of roaches a lot of roaches coming in for Nurchio and army size is gonna be at 28 versus 33 and I think Sock might be able to catch a glimpse oh no he is not going to go to the tower he sees the probe coming and he is going to go around there, and this probe is going to come to the side a hatchery is being opened at this moment along with the cyber core so Sock does not have any actual defense except for two cannons and those two cannons will not be enough to defend against these seven roaches the roaches are coming closer and closer and the cannon is finished and the first Zealot will probably come out and die momentarily. There is going to be a plus one weapons, and he doesn't actually have any units besides that one Zealot. And the probes are going to come off the line here to try to delay the roaches as much as possible. And the roaches are coming inside. The cannon is just auto-firing, so there is one and two roaches that is really, really close to death. And he is not going to go down, and the Zealot will probably hit the lowest HP roach on the side there. But no, he is going to go directly for the full HP. Oh, that is not a good move. And he will lose that... Zealot as well, and an additional cannon is being opened, and the resources lost have shown that Sock is in horrible position at 850 loss versus around 50 or so. Cannons are being opened, and Sock is trying to deal with this pressure. He does squeeze out one Stalker, and he's going to put in a second Stalker, and this Stalker is trying to snipe off one Roach. will get it. Second Roach does get it as well. Good control there. And he does lure it into the fire of the cannon. More and more drones are being produced at this moment for Nurchio, as... Ooh, that Stalker was very brave. He wanted to try to pick off this Roach, but decided not to at the last minute. 
and the cannon, two cannons will come online, and the roaches are getting shot at by the cannon, and this stalker has two kills, he can probably get one or two more, or maybe even three more if he walks really fast, and he does walk forward, and he will get the last, ooh, he does get it, and this stalker is moving back now, the micro between these two players is so superb, both hitting around 200 there, and the last roach is possibly going to go down as well, because the roaches can't really run from the stalker, and this stalker has four roach kills, which is very, very uncommon. Especially considering there is only two roaches and there's going to be two spine crawlers being placed at the base of Nurchio and both these players are going to mass up some more. And for the first time, Nurchio is going to be ahead of Sock in terms of the harvester count and that one overlord was slightly over the ledge there and he will be able to snipe that creep tumor. And ooh, Zerglings are coming out to try to surround the Stalkers. Zerglings are actually a counter to Stalkers, especially if they have speed. It's kind of like paper beats rock. You won't expect it because if you were to say, Hey, buddy, I'm going to give you a piece of paper and you should defend yourself against this piece of rock that I'm going to throw at you. And these Zerglings are coming across and the Stalkers are the rock in the situation and the paper is coming and the paper is trying to get a nice around on the rock and the uh, stalkers are stuck now and they're still trying to micro and one stalker goes down and the second one goes down as well the nexus is going to come back up online momentarily and there's going to be a stargate there is an overlord over here and the overlord does not see the stargate in the back so sock does have a slight advantage i would say but he does have a slight i mean a huge disadvantage in terms of the game but the only thing he does have are these two stargates that his opponent does not yet know about and his opponent does have an army that is full of Zerglings at the moment, and his opponent also has about 13 or so more Harvesters than he does, and, and the income tab will reflect a huge advantage for the Zerg player as he was able to slow down the production of those probes, forcing the Stalker, Zealot, and a lot more cannons than his opponent wanted. And that was not a great wall off, but I mean, what can you do against seven or so Roaches as another pack of Zerglings will be coming into the base of his opponent momentarily or possibly not? Maybe he just remember his opponent has three cannons there. And that's also why he's not sending the Overlord directly in, but he can also send the Overlord to the left here and then down over here. He will be able to spot those stargates but it looks like there is going to be a pack of zerglings working on the side of destructible rocks at the lower right hand corner and the overseer does come in here he will see that his opponent has gotten the stargate and he will see four of those phoenixes coming his way and at this time he does have four queens that is a good number of queens put it putting lots of constant injection and he is going to be able to possibly snipe one of these phoenixes ooh the phoenixes fly so fast does run away from the queens he will be able to get some of these drones and a spire is about to be complete about 90 percent or so complete and he should run the phoenix away the phoenix is about to be dead 4 hp wow these players are so good with their micro more and more drones are being pumped out at this moment and a transfuse goes off on the overlord preventing the overlord from going down. another transfuse going off on the overlord good play there by Nurgio and Sock can't really do too much with those phoenixes and he is going to be making more and more phoenixes and it looks like Nurgio is going to stick with the roaches at this moment and the phoenixes are coming in from the side the queen are not as quick and there's another pack of phoenix at the middle of the map and these queens will be able to successfully defend once again the hydralis then finally going down realizing he probably needs some support for his forces and I don't think he is going to be making any mutilus at the moment as he does have the mutilus then up but he is not making any at this moment and we do see robotics facility going up for the first time for Sock as Sock is trying to retain some control of this game he will be able to supply block his opponent if he can kill off the last overlord he is going to be able to supply block his opponent army size is at 56 to 86 though so it is not going to be a happy happy time for Sock as he is still trying to bother his opponent as much as he can supply block once again and there is going to be no more phoenix production that appears and these phoenixes are flying around the map there is going to be the glero constitution along with the hydralis upgrade for the range and there is a lot of drones here ladies and gentlemen that is an oversaturation he is going to go for the goal but i think the phoenixes has bothered him sufficiently where he forgotten about expanding to the goal or possibly the phoenixes were hovering and prevented a drone from getting there and i think the first set of hydralis will be coming out momentarily as those should be able to prevent these phoenixes from doing too much damage as it seems that five or so queens is not sufficient we do see the robotics bay going down as well we might see some colossus but there is a huge army for Nurchio at this moment. Sock is still trying to hang in it and he does realize that at this time his opponent has gotten the gold expansion and the creep tumor is being spread. He can't do too much about that because you can't really pick up creep tumors with Phoenix. But imagine if you can pick up creep tumors. That would be so funny to see. There is going to be immortals coming out along with the robotics bay almost complete and there's going to be two additional gateways and there's going to be a pack 
of overlords full of units. That is a lot of roaches, hydralis, and zerglings. And the phoenix is still inside the base, picking off some of these probes. I mean, these drones. And he doesn't realize he is inside the base. Oh, now he realizes. And there's a tremendous drop inside the base of Saga. And Saga is going to need to defend this by some miracle somehow, or maybe with really good force fields and colossus that he does not currently have. Army size is at 83 versus 120. 124, the Zerg player, Nurgio. Nurgio is going to work. There will only be two warp gates working and I think these gateways should be finished but I don't think he can do too much at this moment and I think the phoenixes are getting into a pack along with the probes and the phoenixes are still trying to harass at the lower right hand corner of the screen I will keep you updated on that and I think they should probably come back soon as there's only going to be three cannons and these overlords are going to go with these things and he might be considering another drop or maybe just marching down there but marching down there's probably not a very smart idea he is over the ledge he will be able to fight off these Stalkers, he does pick off one Stalker, and the Phoenixes are coming back now, more Hydra's being made, and he is trying to recover, he's trying to remake the Cybercore, the Cybercore was taken down, he can only make Zealots at this moment, and Zealots is not what he wants against Hydra's, Queens, and Roaches, and there's also some Zergling somewhere, I believe that did go down. And I think these Phoenixes want to join the party, but it is too late. 77 versus 128. Very, very high APM now for both these players, as Saga is still trying to hang in there. And I think he is going to have to make something happen magically somehow. There is a pack of roaches and hydras squirming across the middle, along with some phoenixes being escorted. But some of the phoenixes are greatly weakened. Ooh, he does lose a unit over there unnecessarily. And I think he is going to load up now. He's back up quite a bit, and he is going to attack... Ro the overlords are going on top here and he will drop at the same time roaches and hydras coming in from the side this is a great try by Sock, but I don't think it will be enough good force fields there but not doing too much damage as he does have mostly probes not too much of an army he is making a lot more stalkers and this is looking like the last mission for Starcraft 2 where you have to defend against an overwhelming number of Zerg. I don't know how it got to this point. That is what Sog is saying and Sog is going down. He is losing a lot of army and he only has 17 units at this time and he does call GG. That was an epic game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. He did get an island expansion at the upper left hand corner but that's not going to do awfully much. Hope you guys enjoyed that. More games will be coming your way very shortly. Thanks for listening and please subscribe. Thank you.